All the way from Lake City, South Carolina, y'all show your love for Mr. LaBerg. Baker. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. How y'all doing tonight? All right, first thing um, I want to say is uh, this is a great band, and that is a great corner over there. I really thank y'all so much. Y'all really enjoyed it. I got a question. Are, 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 are y'all educators? No. Y'all not educators, but y'all party like educators on their Christmas break. Yeah, y'all. I know, because I'm an educator too. And, and y'all party, hey, I understand. Okay, it's your night and night. I understand that, so enjoy yourself. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Say what the fuck you want to say. Enjoy yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We don't put up with them kids half the year, so it's time for us to enjoy ourselves. You ain't got to call no parents this week or nobody like that. Oh, y'all don't teach? No, we don't no, teach. Well, where well, y'all work at? Oh, oh, well. Well, y'all, y'all with us. Y'all, y'all with us because y'all got the kids too. And y'all dealing with the same parents we dealing with. So, I totally understand. All right. So, um, I'm, I'm Laverne Baker. Uh, first thing I need to do before we get started is I need to give y'all the Surgeon General warning. Um, I'm a disabled comedian. But... The surgeon general want me to warn y'all is if I laugh too hard, I pass out. So this show gonna be funny, but not too funny. Cause I hate to pass out on this stage. If I pass out on this stage, I might wipe out the first two rows. I don't wanna hurt this man right here. All right, so um, the, the thing about passing out is kind of funny cause I, I'll be honest with you, I done passed out in front of a class full of kids. And it was one of the funniest thing in the world cause they just laughed with me. I passed out while driving one time. Man, luckily someone was in the car with me and they was able to throw the car in um, park and coast the car off the road. Uh, one of the most uh, embarrassing places I passed out was I was over to a young lady's house and you know, we doing what we do, we enjoying ourselves, right? right? Now, I get a little excited. When I get excited and get breathing and stuff like that, I'm one of those people with sleep apnea. I passed straight out. Now I come to, she on the phone. Oh Lord, I think I done killed this little fat nigga over here. How my kids gonna get their Christmas? Uh, so I already warned y'all now. So if I pass out, what y'all gonna do? Let me tell y'all, the doctor say, now with passing out, I went and had all kind of tests done. Okay. You know what the remedy was? What? No medicine, nothing like that. Throw cold water on my face. So if I pass out tonight, Somebody just run up with some cold water, just throw it on my face, so I get right back up. All right, so my um, my comedy is from the part of a uh, chubby dude, been chubby all my life. Um, I realized how chubby I was was when I was in the third grade. You know, in the third grade, in the third grade, they, what they do is they take you down to the nurse, they weigh you, they get your height, they do a hearing test and a um, and a vision test. So I got on the scale in third grade, yeah. and, the, and, and the nurse was shocked. And what's the I weighed in as a heavyweight pretender. Hey. In third grade, I could have fought Mike Tyson. Oh, so, now with that being said, I had to maneuver my way through school like that. One of the biggest ones in school. Man, my, my main mission every school year was to get to school early. I would get to school early and get the big desk. I want to beat this, but I didn't know one thing though. I, we'll be done getting the pledge and everything, get the day started. What? I ain't know the short bus one late. <laughs> Coming in there on some wheels was another student and the teacher said, hey, Mr. Baker, you need what? to get out that big desk. So I had to give it up, squeeze it to one of the little small desks, just like everybody else. But then as the year go along, the teachers will be calling my parents. Uh, Mr. Baker sleeping in class. Mr. Baker sleeping in class. I would tell my parents, I'm not sleeping in class. They got me in a small desk that's cutting off my circulation and I'm passing out. Now, as I as I grew and became independent and stuff like that, I got my own place. Now, with my own place, what you gotta realize, you gotta get good furniture at my size. Cause I, I hate to get a get a sofa, get there and I flop on the sofa and it fall up like a beach chip. Uh, luckily, get one of uh, an energetic young lady like over here to my house, and I, I'm 
either. So I, I jump in the bed and I break the bed before we can do anything. Now, see, I ain't want that to happen now. So as life goes on, huh? Oh, I, 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 I listen to y'all now. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right. So as life goes on, you know, you learn to enjoy life and stuff like that. Um, one thing my parents did when I was a kid, though, was they put me in a lot of sports. You got a chubby kid, you want to throw them in sports, get them athletic. That was you. See, so I was good at baseball, because my, my first year playing baseball, you hit a home run, you get a Snickers. That all I wanted was the Snickers. I ain't even care about the sport of winning. So then, what, what would happen, I, I, I did good, graduated on to another team. Now the second year, the coach wanted us to do cardio. Now do I look like I do a lot of cardio? We don't do cardio. So, you know, he wanted us to run around the track. So the first, the first, exactly, that's what I said the first, uh, the first uh, practice. I said, fuck that. And I said in the stands, right? So the second practice, oh, they called my dad out there. Now my dad was a southern gentleman, wear suits and stuff. Now he showed up to practice in some Stacy Adams, some dress pants, and a golf shirt. Oh Lord, I said, Lord. So then the coach said, time to get up and run. So you know me, I said, I ain't want no trouble right now. I'm gonna get up and I start walking around the track slow. Mm -mm. At least you went. At least I went. But yo, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I know why white people say they get scared when black people, when a black man pop up behind them. I was walking around the track, next thing I know my dad pop up behind me with a belt. He started beating me and I started running. I was running like I was running for freedom. So I enjoyed that, you know. Um, now, I, I just wanna say, it's good to see everybody out here, see everybody graduate, made it through COVID and stuff like that. I made it through COVID, but unfortunately, my marriage didn't. Nah, it ain't all that, but um, what, I, what, I, what happened was, she took the CDC guidelines seriously, and she told the uh, social distance for me permanently. Don't give up the fight, man. Stay there, stay there. He's going to stay. Stay there. Exactly. He's going to stay. Because, hey, hey, you, you, I'm going to tell you this. You leave, she going to call you a year later talking about you ain't fought hard enough. No, I got sick. He got sick. So stay there. I got sick. He got sick. Right. All right, so, um, now. He got sick. I did. I got sick. He got sick. He's going away. So now I'm a single man out here. I'm a, I'm a single chubby man. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of people, a lot, a lot of tough dudes be uh, embarrassed of they, they titties. Well, I realize I got titties. I ain't ashamed of that. Sometimes, sometimes I, I go into a store and, and the men restroom blocked up. I look down at my chest and I walk on into the women's restroom. I go ahead and use it. And I, I, I don't do like they do the men's restroom. I clean it up like I work in the place. Cause you know, like sometimes as men, when we walk into that men's restroom, we take two steps in and we just start peeing. We don't worry about that. It ain't even got to be a toilet bowl in there. Mess around, we walk into the janitor closet, straight peeing. All right, so. Uh, all right, the other thing I want to talk about is, um, y'all bury me one more. Let me tell y'all something funny. I'm gonna have to pull out this paper because I had COVID a couple of months ago and, and, and it messed with my memory a little bit. But the most embarrassing part about surviving COVID is, like as a young kid, when we was out here young, rough and tough, uh, possibly getting locked up, we'd be like, man, if I go to jail, I'll never suck nothing. They'll have to kill me first, right? So I got into that hospital and they gave me this little apparatus. Man, the nurse told me I had to suck into the apparatus to save my life. Lord, I had I sucked so much I felt so bad I was embarrassed, but I sucked to save my life. <laughs> then guess what I realized? As you suck stuff up, it loosens the all the fluid in your chest, so you got to you got to cough that up. What I realized is I was a spitter. Oh shit! Yeah, you was a spitter. All right, so now now it's the holiday times. How many of y'all have me come over to your house for the holidays? Who all have me come over to your house for the holidays? Now I'm gonna say this, white 